So much. Would you congratulate yourself on uh, the biggest one of your United career? That must be the perfect moment for you. Yes. You can, you can say for I think for not for me but for the team this is the perfect night. Um, I think we could everything do what we what we plan to do. Um, I think we uh, we win next round. Um, scored some great uh, goals, entertained the fans. Um, uh, we worked on our um, game model. Uh, so yeah, we are happy. Your four wingers have all scored now this season. It seems like there's a really healthy competition there. Do you get the sense of they're pushing each other on? Yes, I think so. I think they are very ambitious. They are very hungry. But also, what you see, they they give each other the ball. Right? They, they want to um, also give assist, and they want to uh, that they, uh, they they give each other uh, the the opportunity to score a goal, like the pen. Hey, when Anthony needs some some confidence, then Ressi gives the pen uh, to Anthony, which is good in the team that uh, they are with each other, they are together. Eric, well, I mean, we've spoken about Marcus loads. What what difference does a confident, informed Marcus Rashford make to Manchester United? Bearing in mind. He qualified for the Champions League when he scored loads of goals and finished eighth when he didn't. Nah, the score, the goals, the, not only has to come from Marcus Rashford. We need more goal scorers, but uh, I know from my first season here, yeah, when he scores, then it's for team always more more easy. Right? When you have players in your squad who is a guarantee for goals, then. Yeah, goals make the difference. That we all know that in in football, you can do a lot of things very good between the boxes, but uh, football matches decide in the box. But he should be coming into his prime now. He's he's got a lot of experience. He's played in a, a lot of big matches. He could be a major asset to you. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't. I, I'm not only expecting this from. Marcus Rashford. I also expected from others, we have also others who are in the prime of the career, but also we have some others who are high potentials. They are very hungry uh, also to score goals, but more important that they want to win, uh, to win games and to win trophies. Dave? How much of a corner do you think you turn that with the win against Southampton and the confidence you'll get from this? How much of a turning point do you think it is after the difficulty against Liverpool? Uh, that is, um, I, I was not de devastated after Liverpool. I'm not now. I'm not now uh, celebrating. Um, we are in June, and we will see uh, where we are in in May, because then we have to be good, <laughs> and then you have to be on your best. And we have to, in the meantime, every time we have to progress the team. Let me just back on Marcus very briefly. Is this it for him confidence? Because he hadn't scored, I think, for six months until Southampton. He's now got two tonight. He played a part in three of the other goals. Is it as simple as confidence with him? Because you've worked with him for two years, so you, you must have built up, built up an understanding of what it takes for him to play his best. Yeah, that is, uh, confidence is a big part of it. It's not everything, and also, also other parts, but confidence um, is a big part. And even, um, and I think Westford is a big, big guy. Uh, scored so many goals. He's one um, in the list of United goal scorers. Uh, he's on top of it, so he's a big guy. But yeah, you are as good as your last game, and every time you have to to prove it. But I have even seen the biggest guys, the biggest football players, and when they are not performing, when they are so, and when strikers are not scoring, then they drop in confidence, eh? and doesn't matter who. Or, uh, James. Hi, when you mention game model, could you explain that a little bit? And the style of football we mm -hmm. saw tonight, is that, is that what you've been trying to achieve since you've been here? Is that what fans can expect, hopefully, going forward? No. We, that is a never-ending process. And so I know where, my, where I want to go, in which direction. Um, I know we have a lot of uh, dynamic, we have a lot of speed and you know, we have seen this today. Uh, but also we have, um, uh, in the meantime, now players 
who are capable to uh, dominate uh, possession and uh, the, we have to, to work even harder for to get all the stages of the game in possession right. Uh, last question, Neil. Um, Alejandro Camacho was only started one game so far this season and he was left out again against Southampton. Is that the perfect response? That's what you want to see from players? Yeah, there will, there, will, yeah, there will be a rotation. And the conclusion from all of you is not right when I pick 11 that I drop a player. No, I, I pick a start 11 because I know I have to rotate. And uh, we have more than uh, 11 uh, players who can be at the lineup uh, on, on any match in this moment. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay, thank you.